10 sports rants of all time. Let it rip. Hey, take the tie. I'm bad over every thing. No shit from you guys. No shit from you players. And you, they can do any thing they want to do. I'm sick and tired of all of this bullshit. Now, put that in your pocket and smoke it. I told our players, you need to be more like a dog. We don't need a bunch of cats in here. Yeah, looking in the mirror. Do I look good? I got my extra bands on. I got my other shoes on. Be a dog. We don't need no meows. We don't need no cats. We need more dogs. I, this is how I believe, okay? I'm from the old school. I believe this. I would rather play with 10 people and just get penalized all the way until we got to do something else rather than play with 11 when i know that right now that person is not sold out to be a part of this team it is more about them than it is about the team i cannot play with them cannot win with them cannot coach with them can't do it i want winners i want people that want to win <laughs> No mistakes so far in this match, right? You have an overall of any No mistakes whatsoever. Answer my question! The question, jerk! What's that? Uh, playoffs? Don't talk about it. Playoffs? You kidding me? Playoffs? I just hope we can win a game. Another game. I feel. Damn sick and tired of getting all rebounded. 25 offensive rebounds. First time we block out, we get called for a damn block out. We're pushing people. We, we don't block out very damn well, and we're not getting called one or the other. That's where I'm frustrated. That's where my whole frustration comes in offensive rebounds. The entire thing came down to offensive rebound. They got every offensive rebound, we didn't get one of them. Wait, the Bears are what we thought they were. They're what we thought they were. We played them in preseason. Who the hell takes a third game in a preseason? Like it's bull, bull. We played them in the third game. Everybody played three quarters. The Bears are who we thought they were. And that's why we took the damn field. Now, if you want to crown them, then crown their ass. But they are who we thought they were. And we let them off the hook. If you want to go after an athlete, one of my athletes, you go after one that doesn't do the right things. You don't downgrade him because he does everything right and may not play as well on Saturday. And you let us make that decision. That's why I don't read the newspaper. Come after me. I'm a man. I'm 40. I'm not a, I'm not a kid. Write something about me. I have a tendency to go, oh man, what do we do? But you know what? This is what's great about sports. This is what the greatest thing about sports is. You play to win the game. Hello? You play to win the game. You don't play to just play it. I'm supposed to be a franchise player, and we're in here talking about practice. I mean, listen, we're talking about practice. Not a game, not a game. Not a game. We talking about practice. Not a game. Not a, not not the game that I go out there and, and die for and play every game like it's my last. Not the game. We talking about practice, man. I mean, how silly is that? Man, we talking about practice. I know I'm supposed to be there. I know I'm supposed to lead by example. I know that, and I'm not I'm not shoving it aside. You know, like it don't mean anything. I know it's important. I do. I honestly do. But we talking about practice, man. What are we talking about? And an honorable mention to Lee Elia, the Cubs manager. In